What is up everybody, I'm hoping you're all well, I'm back once again with yet another movie review and to be honest guys, I've enjoyed going to the movies recently, it's been great seeing movies on the big screen again, they've all been very fun and very entertaining and then this movie comes around and sucks all the joy and happiness out of your soul. Although it did win Anthony Hopkins his most recent award, but how does the rest of the movie serve up? Well, that's what we're here to talk about guys, so guess what we're gonna do, you guessed it, we're gonna talk about it and if you didn't guess it then you're clearly new to this channel, in which case, hi, I'm Josh, I'm an idiot. I sometimes talk to a pig in videos. Here he is, say hi. <laughs> this is really the shit I do when I have no structure to my videos. <laughs> The Father. So The Father stars Anthony Hopkins as Anthony, who is the titular father in this movie, whose mind is slowly deteriorating. He doesn't really know what's going on. He gets very confused very easily. He forgets things quite a lot, and he finds it difficult recognizing his own daughter. However, he's a very proud man. He's a very stubborn man, and in that, he refuses to admit that there's anything wrong with him. He believes he's in perfect, top physical health, and that his daughter is just kind of against him and wants to put him in a home. And from the description, you guys can probably guess this is a pretty emotional movie, especially as it goes along and you see this guy's mind just slowly deteriorating the effect that it has on him and his family. And straight off the bat I have to give massive praise to the cast in this movie, in particular Anthony Hopkins who is just absolutely phenomenal in this film. As I mentioned the character is very stubborn, he's very proud and in that he can come off quite mean and aggressive towards his daughter, however there is that vulnerability in there that Anthony Hopkins just portrays so well that helps you sympathise with the guy. It's made clear from the offset that this guy's mind is slowly deteriorating, that he is forgetting things, that he is not recognising things as well as he should be. And when you see that happening, it's heartbreaking to see, especially when he can sometimes barely even recognise his own daughter, played by Olivia Coleman, who also absolutely kills it in this movie. She is phenomenal in this film, especially alongside Anthony Hopkins, they both have great chemistry together, and it is just heartbreaking seeing this daughter watch her father deteriorating in front of her. Like, it's heartbreaking to see that her father sometimes doesn't even recognise her. And the way that this movie is shot and structured together as well also puts you in the shoes of Anthony Hopkins. It's there to deteriorate you, it's there to confuse you. Some actors are switched out to play the same character that we're already seeing it to help add to the confusion of Anthony Hopkins not recognising anyone. However, those characters could also pop up as other characters as well, again, adding to that confusion. For subtle changes to the set every now and then, things will be moved, something will be different. The movie did a very good job of making you feel just as lost and helpless as this character and it helps you sympathise with him more because you're on this journey with him. I definitely feel like the slow pacing for this film is a massive benefit for it because it gives these scenes time to be drawn out. You are seeing this guy trying to piece things together as he sees things. He's remembering things out of order so some scenes may happen earlier in the film that then come back around towards the end of the film. Everything about this movie from a technical standpoint is incredible. All the performances, including the supporting cast of Olivia Williams, Mark Gattis, Rufus Sewell? Is it Sewell? Rufus Sewell? I'm pretty sure that's the guy who's in the movie. I could be completely making that up, whatever the actor's name is. If I did get it wrong, I'll put it down here. If you don't see anything down here, Clearly, I'm a genius. I'm not a fucking genius, what am I talking about? I can see the slow pacing being a little bit of a turn off to some people. The movie itself is only an hour 40 minutes long, so it's not overly long. However, it does drag out. There are some scenes that go on for a little bit too long. And while no major faults with the movie, the fact that it is based on a stage play is very obvious. I mean, it is also written and directed by the same person who wrote and I possibly assume directed the theatre version of the film, or the stage version of the film, which is what I meant to say there, not the theatre version of the film, although I suppose they're both kind of the same thing. My hands really go wild when I talk. However, in that, the way that some of the characters deliver the dialogue and interact with each other does feel very stagey, it feels very precise, and in that, it felt a little awkward in terms of looking at it from a film standpoint. Now, I don't know if anyone else is really going to pick up on that. My experience on stage allows me to see things more like that, if that makes any sort of sense. I mean, I've performed on a stage before, I've performed in front of a camera before, I do videos on a regular basis, so I know the differences between stage and screen. And I know how different the interactions can be and the movements can be, so in that, it's very obvious to me when seeing these characters interact with each other that it is very stagey rather than very filmy. Again, this might not make any sort of sense to anyone, but I think it makes sense to me and might make sense to other people who know theatre more than they do film or know film and theatre in a way that I know film and theatre. I could be talking utter bollocks and you know what, I probably am talking utter bollocks. Like I said at the start of the video, I'm an idiot. But back onto the movie, overall I had a great time watching The Father. It's a very emotional roller coaster of a ride. There are some very good comedic moments, there are top notch performances from everyone involved. Anthony Hopkins in particular absolutely nails it in this movie. He'll not only make you laugh but he'll make you cry with his performance as well. He's very easy to sympathise for. The way the movie is shot definitely helps you in sympathising what this character is going for 
through. I really admire the way they told the story in this movie. I mean, it's probably done exactly the same as it is done on the stage, but obviously I've only seen the film. I haven't actually seen the stage version. But whichever version this review convinces you to see, I'm sure the stage version is just as fantastic as this movie is. Performances, as I mentioned, are just fantastic all around. It's emotional, it's touching, it's heartbreaking. And so for all those reasons, I'm going to give The Father four stars. So, The Father, have you guys seen it yet? What do you guys think about it? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and for some more videos just like this one, then subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks again for watching, you guys are awesome, and I will see you all in the next video.